All right, so this is one of many attempts to unbrick Floyd. Old Floyd here has been bricked uh, almost from the beginning. Um, I got one flight out of it, and um, unfortunately, I updated the app. I was on the second version of the app. There was four versions, four updates on the iOS app. And I was on the second one, and that did not force you to update the quad. So I was fortunate enough to get one flight out of old Floyd here, but uh, then I updated the app and uh, was forced to do my update, did my update, thought, hey, I'll do an update video in the process. While doing that, uh, we're bricked. So we're going to try another attempt. Uh, Hubson has sent me different firmware. They've sent me different recovery files. So I have another new recovery file here. Uh, you put the whole folder on your disk, uh, nothing else, only that folder. And it contains three files. And uh, then you just insert it into the quad and power it on, and we're supposed to see it come back to life. So far this has not helped, but we're going to try it. So we're going to take the micro SD card with just that folder on it and put it in our Xeno fresh battery and I'm not going to turn anything on over here yet so let's just power it on and see if we come to life again I have done this numerous times with other files and stuff so We'll see what happens. I had a red and yellow flashing light the whole time. And it's been like that since it's been bricked. Right now I've got red and yellow flashing still. My rear lights are flashing red. Solid. Still flashing red and yellow on the side. not seeing anything different if I recall I'm supposed to see flashing lights or something happen here something different but nothing has changed that flash in the back there that's normal Periodically, I'll get a red, the red lights to flash. Nothing going on here. Nada. Solid red. It's the first time I've ever had a solid red. I don't want to lift it up and mess things up. We might have life here. This has never happened. I'm going to leave it alone and let's just see if anything else changes. But this might be a good sign. Now, from what the I've I've from what I've been told, if you have solid green, it's a failed update. If you have solid yellow, it's a successful update. And then the flashing yellow and red uh, was while I was bricked, so we're going to say it's a dead function. But right now we have solid red. I have never had solid red on this quad. And it doesn't say anything about solid red. So let's just let it sit here and see what happens.
again that occasional red flash you see back here that's normal it's been doing that from the start so I don't get excited when I see that I would like to have seen some like flash fast flashing red but uh, so far out here it's not acting any different but having a solid red there is is a good sign I think I hope but I'm gonna let it sit because these firmware updates have been taking forever on the Xeno and for all I know it could be still updating right now so let's just or still recovering right now so let's just leave it alone and uh, if it takes too long I'll shorten the video okay so we are staying solid red I'm gonna go ahead and shut it down we're gonna remove that recovery folder from the SD card and then put it back and see if we put it into a bind state and can connect see if it comes back to life I've updated this on my Mac I've updated it on my PC I've tried other recovery firmware I've tried different firmware on the computers that they sent me uh, I've tried all kinds of things so far nothing this is the best sign I've had so far is this silly little red light so let's go ahead and shut it down and we're gonna take this out put it on the computer and remove that folder I feel like I should just put a delete a totally blank card in there. I'm going to do that. Now, let's just leave right now there's two things on there. You've got the SD card uh speed text and then you have a folder that's HBS media. That's what you automatically that's what the Xeno automatically puts on there. So I'm going to leave those on there and put the SD card back in. Just remove the recovery folder that I had on there. Eject. Let's put her in. And I guess I'm going to power everything else up. I would like to just see what happens. I'm going to actually just see what happens here. I'm going to disconnect my battery. And then connect it. It's not something they say to do, but that's what I'm doing just to be safe. And we're going to power it back on. Please work. So I have red flash, red solid, stain red solid. This might be good. Red solid. Oop, yellow. It's stain yellow. Yellow means update successful. This might this might actually be alive <laughs> let's power it up and unhook from here open the app let's close the app down and reopen it okay connect here Still a solid yellow. This is a good sign. I got low power on my phone. And then we're going to probably have to put it into bind state. There's a little button on the side. 
a little tiny hole I'm sorry and then you put a pin in there to uh, get it to bind let's see if it detects okay we'll probably get a timeout okay request timeout so let's see if we put a pin in the side and I'll show you this when I'm done I don't want to flip it over let's stick this in a little hole and it's like three seconds you're gonna hold it one two three flashing lights detect please get it ah we have life on my Hubson Zeno 2 Floyd is home look at that so happy <laughs> I can't tell you how many times I have made this video right here and failed oh no already telling me I need a firmware update now it said to do a compass calibration which is behind that that prompt I'm gonna go ahead and do that let's see what happens see if it'll allow me to do it I can't tell you what a relief this is. This is awesome. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Let's uh, point it this way. Give you something else to look at here on my screen. So now <laughs> the next video will be doing a firmware update. But I can successfully I can say successfully that the recovery the the last set of recovery files they sent me unbricked Floyd we're gonna still call him Floyd though because he spent a long time as a brick and uh, I'm sure I'm sure most of you understand why since it's a brick I call him Floyd but um, I'm happy to say uh, it's unbricked so this video here should uh, serve to help other people if this happens to you. Um, again, the way I bricked it was not from doing the update on my app. That update went fine. It wasn't until I tried to do the computer update that I bricked it. So, and I did that exactly the way I was supposed to. I sent uh, Hubson the video. They said I did it correctly. And, um, they actually said this is a known problem that they have already seen. That's a whole nother story in another video uh, because it's something that actually bothers me, some things they told me. But uh, there we go. I am unbricked and next video is going to be doing my firmware upgrade, which I have somebody else's Xeno 2 here. And his has a problem with FPV after doing the firmware update so I'm working on that one so I'll have a solution for that as well once I get that resolved so this is your Hubson channel I continue to always bring you guys something uh, that Hubson isn't bringing you and other channels aren't bringing you so uh, I just showed you how to unbrick your Xeno should this happen to you and now I can successfully say there is no worries if you use this recovery firmware, which I will attach uh, in the description of this video. Thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel. Thank you uh, for watching my videos and for all your support. And if you're new to this channel, right here's a good reason for you to subscribe. And as always, please leave that thumbs up on your way out and uh, stay tuned for the next video. I've got plenty of Hubson Zeno 2 stuff coming up now.